I think like posture governance is definitely like the number one that if I'm a company, the best um, ROI for effort to value to risk reduction is posture governance, like discovery and posture governance for all these APIs. Then we start to detect threats. Okay, so give me the one line of the problem that exists that is that you have honed and understood over the last n number of years. It's discover, govern, and protect APIs. Yeah. And the simplest way for me to explain to anyone when I talk to my cousin or whatever, not from tech, is think about a company as a building and all the doors and windows are APIs. Yep. In the old days, you had one door, no windows, just one door. You put a security guard at the front. Today, with so many APIs, you have tons of buildings, tons of doors, tons of windows. We help companies map, first of all, where they have windows, where they have doors, where they have any path to get in. The second, we help them to govern it. So we tell them, you're missing a lock here. No, this window is open. You know, it's this glass is horrible glass. You can easily break it. So we help them to be proactive about their security. And lastly, we detect any attackers that try to break in. So anyone try to break the window, break the door, open you know the lock, whatever it is, we'll tell them, hey, Ian is trying to hack like now at the front gate before they enter the, 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 the yard. Yeah. Make sure he's not coming in again because he doesn't have a good intent. I mean, he has malicious intent. So that's like the simplest way to explain what we do. Well, and it's such a good metaphor. And I think, you know, in my mind, you can actually kind of extend that metaphor because yes, there's more doors and windows and all that good stuff, but there's also more people who are allowed to create doors and windows and mm -hmm. this stuff's proliferating. And I think, you know, discover, I think is probably one of those words that maybe may, it may or may not surprise your customers, but I suspect it will surprise a lot of our listeners, like just discovering the surface area of these connections that the engineering teams have built to the outside world. It, you know, in, in your mind today, like how do you stack rank these problems? Like the, the, the features is, is discovery the issue is protection, the issue. Um, uh, I think that the, the like the, it's not necessarily means that the, uh, the magnitude of the problem more as like the order of problem needs to be solved and you have to discover because you can't protect what you don't know. So it's absolutely like a foundational step. But discovery by itself doesn't reduce so much risk, right? The posture governance piece is the, it's the part that really reduces risk. Knowing that you have an open window, it's a prerequisite to, to lock the window. But if you don't lock it, you know, you, you didn't reduce a lot of risk. You just know, <laughs> which kind mm -hmm. of makes it work. So at least you are now concerned and you don't do anything about it. So... I think like posture governance is definitely like the number one that if I'm a company, the best um, ROI for effort to value to risk reduction is posture governance, like discovery and posture governance for all these APIs. Yeah. And then you start to detect threats. Sorry, go ahead, Michael. Yeah. Yeah, I was just going to say, think of it in as like a crawl, walk, run type of scenario, right? You can't run before you crawl, sure. right? Um, so if you think about from a discovery perspective, understanding, you know, that um, that threat landscape is critical. And then obviously the posture governance side of that follows from a walk perspective. And then as you're ready, then you obviously want to run and protect, you know, the APIs that are already in production. So we, we always look at it as more of a journey and it always starts with, you know, crawling, which is the discovery aspect. Mm -hmm.